Some years ago we uh, started a line of research looking at the control of cane toads. This led us to develop a, a natural control solution which consisted of a bait which uh, attracts tadpoles into a trap. And while this was a, uh, a very nice piece of uh, basic research which we were able to publish, we were very keen to see it uh, commercialised. At the moment there are virtually no uh, mechanisms for controlling cane toads in Australia. This is an invasive pest species that is toxic, that is killing native wildlife uh, across the north of Australia and down into New South Wales. It's also um, affecting uh, domestic pets. Dogs that uh, choose to take on a cane toad don't usually come off so well. Uh, and it's critically important that we deliver a control solution to the public so that we can get on top of this menace. One of the things that will happen from partnering industry is that we will be able to uh, mature the technology to a point where it is cost effective to deliver in to the hands of the public and where it can be and, and also a mechanism for delivering it into the hands of the public so this will be putting it on the shelves in hardware stores and generally um, providing the advice that the public needs and the product that they need in order to uh, uh, control cane toads. Um, I created this company as a way to bring uh, new and better ways to give people methods for controlling pests without the traditional pesticides. I felt that if we understood uh, insect biology better, we could use their own biology against them with better technology and better science to give people low toxic answers at lower costs that last longer than pesticides and work better than traditional pesticides. We see this partnership as kind of a jumping off for Springstar to establish a, a business entity here in, in uh, Australia. We've got uh, Southeast Asia, the Pacific to serve for mosquito control and insect control products. And we see it a perfect opportunity to lever this cane toad technology into new technologies that we can deliver to consumers and government agencies and community agencies or community groups uh, throughout Australia. So Rob, this is an um, autocidal gravid ovitrap. It's a device we de developed with the uh, uh, Center for Disease Control Dengue Branch in Puerto Rico under a grant from the uh, U.S. National Institute of Health. It's a simple device, um, uses a, an ordinary bucket with a lid with a hole cut in it, and we developed a capture chamber where the sticky pad goes. We put a nice uh, screen in there so the mosquitoes can't reach down into the water mm -hmm. and lay their eggs. So when they come into the top of the device um, and they, they're blocked by the screen from uh, reaching, uh, reaching the water, we then cat catch them on an enclosed uh, sticky. Um, this device in Puerto Rico has been shown to reduce uh, mosquito populations by 80% all season long, five years in a row. Mm -hmm. And last year they showed a 50% reduction in mosquito disease transmission in treated villages. But one of the reasons we like this device is it's simple, there's no Wi-Fi, there's no USB port, there's no lasers in it, um, and the cost is fairly low. We think there's an opportunity to lever this into something that might become a, a king toad trap. So we've got a, a screen mechanism, I mean a, a funnel mechanism that can be put inside the, uh, the trap. And then that attaches inside the lid become a handy dandy little king toad trap right. and those can be deployed uh, by community group by individual homeowners at a fairly reasonable cost yep and what we need of course is the controlled release device to release that pheromone that goes in here where people can put it in know it's going to attract the uh, the king toad tadpoles um, and be able to replace it when it wears out